Good morning. Um, it is currently 6.22 a.m. It took me 22 minutes to roll out of bed because I was stuck on the toilet. Today we're trying to have a perfect morning routine and it starts with not using our phones because I was researching what's the best way to wake up? How do billionaires wake up? And collectively, they say that they don't use their phones, which I totally agree with. One of the biggest tips for waking up early is to have something in the morning that you're looking forward to do. And it starts with the spot, something you're comfortable in that's not your bed. I found that if I read in my bed, I go back to bed. So. I haven't been up here in the morning ever and <laughs> I've lived here for a year. It is 6.49, we're gonna do five minute meditation. I use this app called Wim Hof Method. No, I wish you a good night or a good day. Just finished a two minute breath hold. I ended up doing a 10 minute meditation because right now it's 7 a.m. But the sun just came out and it is glorious. You know what's funny? I don't think I'm necessarily a morning person. I just like to do things that so happen to happen in the morning. And I feel like that was the biggest game changer for me. And goes into my second tip, which is if you don't like the mornings, find something you like to do that's particularly morning friendly. Like if you don't like working out at the gym, for me, I like to surf. And one of the best times in the morning when the wind is calm. If you like going on a walk and you don't like seeing people, go do that. If you like to read in silence, that could be another option. If you like to draw, do that. It doesn't have to be active. And I think that was like the biggest green light for me when I realized mornings are fun, you know? <laughs> like it's not fun if you have to freaking take a cold plunge and like meditate immediately, you know? I like to ease into it. So right now we're going for a surf. I'm gonna show you what I do to get ready to surf because I know a lot of you guys don't surf and you wanna learn more about it. So the first thing is I get my surfboard out of my car. Miraculously, an eight foot board fits in a Kia Soul, um, just if you were curious. So right now there's something called a surf sock on it and I'm gonna take it off and lay it on the ground upside down like this so the wax doesn't melt off. Surfboards are pretty expensive, honestly, so you want to take good care of them. My board behind me was a custom surfboard, but it came to around $1,000. I'm going to put on my wetsuit. You don't always need a wetsuit. Right now in California, the water is just starting to be so cold. And by the way, this whole thing right here, it's called a surf poncho. Because you can actually change into your wetsuit without having to be fully naked. This is honestly the worst part of surfing. No. Taking off the wetsuit is the worst part. As a surfer, you don't want your sunscreen to come off, so we use like stick sunscreen. See, it's just really thick. Oh, I forgot to take that off. It's okay, it stays in the water. And you just kind of put that on. You don't want to forget the neck, but I use a different sunscreen for that because I'm crazy. All right, ready to go. I'm at the beach, but I feel so silly because I forgot my leash, which is the thing that connects you to your surfboard. So if you fall, you don't have your surfboard flying and hit someone, but the waves are small today. I'm just so pissed. I don't know where my leash went. And I always have a leash. I also forgot my wax. What is going on with me today? <laughs> oh, so pretty today. I just finished surfing, but some fucking dude just learning how to surf did not, literally did not look straight. Like I was right in front of him and his board just dug in to this, like this purr in my elbow. It didn't hurt, but now it's starting to throb. <sighs> I'm gonna have to ice it, but whatever. It just kind of hurts to like bend it now. But anyways, it was so fun today. I actually did not have a great time because I forgot my leash. I forgot my wax. I got hit. 
but part of surfing. You fall, you learn, you fail. That's okay. Okay, I need a, I need to ice. <laughs> I need to ice my freak. Yeah, I need to ice this bad boy. We are back home, icing with a bag of frozen Trader Joe's mangoes. You can kind of see where <laughs> the guy hit me. But anyways, I wanted to give my third tip for waking up early. And if you feel like you don't get consistent sleep, ask yourself how much sunlight you get every day because i find that whenever i'm at the beach all day sun in my eyes i fall asleep like that when i'm home i like surfing or just working out outside at least an hour every day just because it helps so much with the circadian rhythm which is your natural sleep cycle and increasing the melatonin in your body as long as you're in the morning i find that like the sun rays are not as powerful and it doesn't like cause that much damage whereas if you you know are outside at 1 p.m. at peak UV rays, it's gonna be a bit more harmful. Just a little tip for you guys. I'm gonna go shower, wash my hair, wash my body, cause I smell like fish. Shower was phenomenal. All right, it's 9 a.m. We're going to pick an outfit to work in because I work from home and I always wear the same outfit. These are the two outfits I wear, all right? Same thing every day, I just rotate it and then I clean it. And one thing I saw, that successful people do is put on an outfit. They get dressed, they act like a boss. So we're going to put on a full real outfit, not sweatpants and it's fall time. So I'm thinking red sweater and jeans. Now it's time for the most important part of the morning, which is my coffee. <laughs> uh, you guys know I used to only drink matcha, but I, ch I changed. <laughs> We are gonna make my own version of the brown sugar shake and espresso from Starbucks. Pour some cold in. While we do this, I'm gonna update you guys on my life because it's been so long. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I've been really hard on myself, I feel like, in regards to my content. So essentially, that results me into feeling like a piece of shit uh, a lot of the time. But. In the board cup. No. Oh, do you want coffee? Okay, guys, my boyfriend wants me to make him a latte, so I'm gonna be a good housewife and make it, because I'm gonna... Cappuccino, you want a cappuccino, babe? <sighs> mm. So, like I was saying, one of the things that really helps me when I'm feeling really anxious or down is journaling. Specifically, I journal in this workbook. It's called the Shadow Work Journal. It's literally like $10 on Amazon or TikTok shop. That's where I got it. But what's really cool is they ask specific questions to understand your emotions better, but then they ask you questions to help get you out of it. Like real step-by-step -step things you can do to implement that will help you feel better. It's basically like free therapy. I will say it helps if you are all already in therapy because you can be more vulnerable with your own self. Here's a good example. What is my current fear? And if it were to happen, what would be the best case scenario? Then it asks, if my fear and anxieties were teachers, what lessons would they teach me? <laughs> this is exactly what I work on in therapy, so it's great. If my fears and anxieties were teachers, what lessons would they teach me? Well, I wrote down, just kidding. I wrote down that my anxiety would teach me that it's okay to be gentle on myself and to be patient, to be grateful every single day, even when things are moving slow. Because, sorry. <laughs> For some reason, the coffee bean smelled a little poopy. I could just be, I could just be me. But anyways, what is the poop smell coming from? I swear to God, this does not smell like coffee. But these are my boyfriend's beans, okay? So he wanted me to make it. Hmm. Cute. Do you like the beans? Kind of smell a little weird. Yeah, the beans are, they're okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready to do some work right now. One tip I did have is if you struggle with getting started to work in the morning, I like having three professional and three personal goals and I write it down and I check it off every time I do it. The way it works is I find that I'm less motivated to do the hard stuff if I don't have a treat. Like I'm a, I'm a dog, okay? I need a carrot on a stick in order to do a trick. Wrote down for today, I wanna to film a YouTube video set up some calls for the week and edit two TikToks. Those are my professional goals. However, if I do those, I get to treat myself with my three personal goals. Washing my car, packing for my trip next week, and eating a nice meal. They're really simple goals, but to me, I'm really pumped to do it. So it makes me want to get through my day faster. <laughs> Thank you.
My last tip is if all else fails and you can't find motivation to wake up to work out or read or do anything, wake up to eat is the biggest motivator for me personally. If I'm feeling really rough, I make myself breakfast. And I make not only a breakfast, but the ultimate breakfast. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.